katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaabudu na kanisa liseme and then I will capitalize on our topic which is going to be very fast as we continue with our great meeting in the future. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 17 verse 2 and uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter number uh, 2 and verse uh, number 18. I'm going to talk about covenant of forceful advancement. Covenant of forceful advancement. And then the, uh, among the four areas that you have to forcefully advance. Uh, first of all is the family faulty foundation. Uh, number two is territorial envy and satanic conspiracies. And then number three is uh, victimization, workplace, ministry and all that. And then number four is a household enemy. There are things that you cannot get easily in this life. And you have to use a force that can make you get them. And the force that makes us all the believers to get what we want is the force of covenant. A covenant will make you have the things you need to have. What was not even redeemed of in your bloodline, you can have it. That is why we call the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. But when we look at them, they all did their covenant and the covenant make you personalize God. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 2, the Bible says, And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and I will multiply thee exceedingly. Somebody look at your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, Beyond the boundary, beyond the set line. Amen. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter number two and verse eighteen. Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I Paul once and again. But Satan hindered us. Somebody look at your neighbor and tell him every hindrances of the devil from my family faulty foundation, territorial envy, and satanic conspiracies, from any victimization, from household enemy. I will forcefully, by the 
Father God, I thank you for your word. At the entrance of your word, O Lord, there is a revolution that comes in the lives of your people after they have gotten the knowledge of your word. As I stand in this exalted altar, that was raised for you, O Lord, by your servants. I thank you and let the Holy Spirit, the grace, the favor that is in this altar, be upon me and my interpreter and the entire congregation. Holy Spirit of God, take over the glory of God the Father in Jesus' name. Amen. We may be seated, God bless you. I want us to take this opportunity to give it to my host to appreciate the great honor that he has given to me able to come and share the word of God with you. I uh, want us to join our hands together to appreciate the gift of God in our mom, the mother of the house, the senior pastor, Reverend Louis. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, I gave you the greetings of my wife in the morning. I can't repeat it again. And I believe you are all good in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Amen. In the other languages that uh, I'm talking about the Diva titled Syndrome You got it. Syndrome is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's Hallelujah! That is what I'm going to talk about. The covenant. The covenant. The covenant. What is the covenant? Covenant is an agreement. When you do agreement with God, you do what God wants you to do. And God wants to do what you want God to do. And then you enter into the agreement. Agreement has the do's of the door. So when you agree with God, God tell you, this is what I don't want you to do. And you tell God, this is also what I want you to do for me. And then you enter into the covenant of the agreement. That is number one. Number two, what is covenant? Covenant is a memorandum of understanding between the two people whereby the two when you enter into the covenant after you have agreed now you enter into a place where you give other party to remind you of what you had agreed and you also to remind him in the book of Genesis chapter number 9 the Bible and God made a covenant with Noah and put a rainbow rainbow to remind him the covenant that he has made with him so the rainbow was to remind God which means God can forget and when you forget you can also remind him and you can also remind you so the covenant is what can make us have a memorandum of understanding so we can remind each other. Number three, covenant is partnership.
school I read a story book where an rabbit was crossing a, a bridge and uh, the bridge was not shaking at all so that he really disturbed the rabbit and so he went to convince an elephant Yes, uh, Dofu. Dofu. Uh -huh. When they were together. And because of the heaviness of the elephant. Now So the 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 the, the, the bridge was shaking. As the bridge was shaking, okay. they were crossing on. Okay. And the rabbit opened his mouth and looked at the bridge and told the bridge. You know, today we have shaken. We have shaken. We have shaken. Look at your neighbor, tell the neighbor. What elephant is God. When you partner with the head, you will shake sickness. You will shake poverty. You will shake every head I have. Because God is with you. All praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. That is why I like this song in Kiswahili. When I was the Hebrew, Rafiki, 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 and this journey, this journey, we need somebody who is so powerful to partner with. And that is God. When we partner with God, together with God, we can make it. In life. We are still in March. We want to go to December. Next year, we need a partner. Covenant is partnership. It is relationship. As I said earlier, in the first service, relationship, the word relationship comes from the word relative. So relatives normally looks alike. And I say, you look at your neighbor and tell him, you don't look like the devil. So don't sleep in the church because you don't look like the devil. Because the devil normally goes against the things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. When you see somebody sleeping in the church at this time, know they have made a covenant with the devil. They have agreed and they must partner in that agreement. They are relating. So it does the things that the devil does. Somebody look at your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, you look like God. That is why you need to think like God. Talk like God. God, you live like God. That is why when you are relating with God in this covenant, you are relating with the God as your father. And you, you are a child of God. So it's a father and a child kind of a relationship. So when the father and the child are joined together, they will move, they will care, they will have. That is the good daughter. That is why I'm saying, when you are with God in this covenant, you will be forceful. You will be forceful. Advance. 
So in the neck of the farm. So in the neck of the farm. So in the neck of the farm. Where are your ancestors? Where are your children? Where are your children? And you partner with God, you will never be defeated. You get the things that you not get. You have the things that you not have. You have the places that you not go. If you believe in shout, hallelujah. God, covenant, for forceful advancement. In four areas, will you make a covenant with God? They covenant as power. Somebody say power. Number two, the covenant as energy. Somebody say energy. The covenant as strength. Somebody say strength. So when we are using the strength of the covenant, when we are using the power of the covenant, where are we being defeated before? We are not going to be defeated because the battle is not ours. So we can be battle is God's. If you believe in it, can you wait for me? Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going about the four areas that you Yeah. 
then we read the book of Genesis 17, verse number 1. The Bible says when Abraham was 99 years of age, God made a uh, covenant with Abraham in verse 2. And uh, where Abraham was coming from in the Genesis chapter number 11, there are you Abraham was coming from a family that has four kind of faulty foundation. Number one, the family where Abraham was coming from, Abraham's father was Terah. Abraham, and Terah was an idol worshiper. So Terah did not know God. And it is possible when Abraham was here, his father could command him to go with him to go and worship the God of his father. And he would sacrifice him. Now look at your neighbor, tell him neighbor. Remember where you come from. They did a covenant. You know it is following him. You see the result. You are following the blood. And today, you can disconnect. You can disassociate with those covenants. And you can face your own God. So he left. 
And she was promoted to be a deputy teacher. So one day, during the month end, we were in the house to of us. All the neighbors were gone. Out. Then I was watching the TV changing the channels. And KTN and others. And uh, she was watching you uh, washing utensils in the 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 And I was looking around. And then I asked, Madam, who are you talking to? She said, Yes. The one that I wanted to listen. I already heard what I said. Then I said, ah, Madam, am I the one whom you have been addressing? Maybe you will have called the poor organization. Then that one did not go good with me. Then she told her, told her Madam, if you are going that way, if you are going that way, we will divorce. Can you repeat it? I said, you will, we will not divorce. That is what I wanted. Come, baby, come, 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 baby, come, 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 and I said, hey, my dumb Lizzie, you did hear me well. Oh. It is the sleep of time. It is the time I sleep. You live in Teresa. 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 I love you. Look at me. I love you. Look at me. I've been traveling. I've never seen a beautiful black lady like you with a singer. Which is so serious. <laughs> How can I say like that? I didn't mean it. I love you so much. And I, I, I gave a hug of a sweet talking. You, you smell Jesus. You smell Jesus. You smell Jesus. Somebody say Family Faulty Foundation. Somebody say family, family faulty foundation. You know there are things that are following you. They are following you. They happen to your ancestors. Now they are pursuing you. In your family, you can't even talk. In your house, you can't even talk. With your children, you are paying a house rent. But in that house, it's like all of you have been baptized with a lemon water. Maggie and Dim. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Today, you can tell the devil no. You can tell the devil no. You did it to my ancestors. You did it to my parents. You did it to my brothers. You cannot do it to me. In the name of Jesus, I will make a covenant with God. And I will forcefully advance the Lord family for three thousand. Hallelujah! 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 Today, that they will make a covenant with God and realize 
When we, we got married here, near, this is a, it's a Baptist here, Comoroc Baptist Church. It was called Nairobi East Baptist Church. So after we got married, we went home. When we went home, my wife went to the Baptist Church. Talk with my mother. When she came, she told me, she told me with all the uh, research that I've done in this house and in this family, <laughs> I find all of you, you are foolish and stupid. <laughs> Then I said, all of us are foolish and stupid. Is it including? <laughs> he said, yes, even you tell me the university you have ever done. In this family, and around this village, nobody has a degree. How many more degrees? What do you do? Do then she told me, this is my child will change and break this bondage. That is when I realized that she's pregnant. I didn't know that she's pregnant. And that is my first one. That is the only child who broke the statement of not having a degree in the dam. The first one to have a degree. The first one to have a master. The first one to have PhD. The first one to have PhD. And the first one to have a master. The first one to have a master. The first one to have a master. The first one to have a The first one to have a master. 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 You can break the chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can break the chain. When you do a covenant with God, God takes over. God takes over. God takes over. God takes over. That is why I'm saying there are things that you can get that you have to advance using the force that is superior that the force that is hindering you. Today, I want to give you a word of encouragement. I want to give you a word of encouragement. I want to give you a word of encouragement. I want to give you a word of encouragement. You will advance. Go to the next part. point for me an aeroplane. And he used to point and say, that is there. Macha there. Macha there. But the poverty, like you must kill me, poverty, you must kill me, he did that day. 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 But me, like him, he did his son. Has bought Amen. many planes. Amen. Going to South Africa. Amen. Going to Nigeria. Amen. Going to Ghana. Amen. Ah. May what you didn't have 
Wacha kila bado uko nacho. What your parents did kila bado wazazi wako wako nacho. Do you have it in Jesus? Wacha kwa nalo katika jina la Yesu. People start defeated your father defeat them. Vile zile shinda baba yako sasa wewe uzishinda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody raise your hand and say every family felt the foundation. is territorial envy ni chuki wivu wivu ya wivu ambaye amepita mipaka na njama ya shetani territorial the satanic conspiracies wivu ya kupita mpaka na shetani mpaka ya people who are envying you for that kuna watu ambao wako wana wako na chuki the envy kuna watu wakali wanakuchukia tu they are not even your relatives hata wao si jamii yako but they are always envying you lakini kila wakati wanakuchukia This is the end of enemies. I will overcome them by this covenant. God is fighting on my behalf. Na kwa yangu. Siku moja nikiwa nyumbani kwangu, niko na neema ya baba siku moja badala ya kunisalimia na zalimianga mimi. Ndege ndege. Ndege ndege. Sasa mimi sikujua ni ndege ndege ni nini. So my wife told me anasema So wivu ni yani. Bobe jirani wivu. Atukiwa nayo. Aitanizuia. Nitaendelea saidi. Haleluya. Every territorial end. Kila chuki. This man is not even my 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 my, my relative. Huyu mtu tasdi jamii yangu. But he is always envy me body play. Na nanijukia kwa sababu nimepanda panda ndege somebody raise my hand and say every territorial and no kono sema kwa kwa kila chuki in the place of work in my business in my ministry targeting me by this covenant i will first to advance if you believe in shout amen number 3 baria ta victimization kunyanyaswa victimized With the territorial line here you can read the book of uh, Genesis chapter number 26. Na na hiyo chuki ya kimazingira nasoma mwanzo 26. And you read it all you find where Isaac was digging the well. Mahala ambapo Isaac alikuwa anachimba kisima. But other were coming to her cover the wells with the earth. Kwa wengine walikuwa wanakuja kufunika because they did want him to have the water to have to have the harvest. Kwa sababu wako wanataka kuwe na maji ili kuwe na mazao. There are people who are against you. Kuna watu ambao wako kijua everything they you do. Kila kitu unafanya. They are always sending you. Ah, okay, wakati wanakuchukia. Let's go to Jacob. Tuende katika Yakobo. Jacob. Yakobo had people who could make him suffer. Alikuwa na watu ambao walikuwa wanafanya teseke. And in Genesis 28, katika mwanzo 28, he made a covenant with God. Akafanya agano na Mungu. I want you when you do a covenant with God. Wanakutana ukifanya agano na Mungu, then you personalize your God. Unaiweka ikiwa mtu ndio akodini covenant with God in Genesis 28 verse 20 to 22. Sasa katika mwanzo 28 victimization kunyanyaswa and after he has done a covenant baada kufanya agano he went to work for his own uncle akaenda kufanya kazi kwa shangazi yake and his uncle was called laban na sasa shangazi yake akao na laban na laban ni akao that is blessed because of the presence of jacob kwamba alibarikiwa kwa sababu ya yakobo but when it came to time for salary 
So 
that you cannot have. So when I had it, I was just laughing in my heart. Because Exodus 14, 14. Can we read it all of us loudest if you believe? The Lord shall fight for you. The Lord will fight for me. Even when they take it to the vision of God, has never hindered me to get more sweet. I don't have more money. I still get more money. Because the battle is not mine. The battle is the Lord's. May you take your battle and give it to God. And let God fight on your behalf. So, when he was narrating to me those stories, I was asking myself, where were you? Where were you? When I was taking the suit to the region of Uganda, where were you? Which means you were together. But you, after that, something broke on the road and you disagreed. So you have come to tell me. This means you are together. Hallelujah. Whether they are together, the battle is not yours. The battle is God's. So when you surrender to God, the God will fight you. Family found the foundation. He will not hinder you. He will not hinder you. He will not hinder you. Sacrifice. 
eyes of the God. In the spirit that you are doing to somebody good. It is for you. For your children. For your family. For your family. That 
that you have. I give you have. Don't say that you have no. Take a cup of Pepsina. Take a cup of Pepsina. Ombe girani girani. Una pepo na ito Pepsina. Pamela ni neta iyo pepo lakini akaito. Ita ni malise ya iya na voto wame. Pamela ni niambia siku moja. Kibiriti ni ni istima imepotea siku imo nataka. Anunue musuma na kibiriti. Ni kwa na siringi miambili ni kapatia hei. Aeda nunue musuma na nini? Ongea na musuma na nini? Mimi ni kae mbebaki mpika esabu ya musuma na kibiriti. Ni kajua chedi yangu itakurudi. One eight or one eight five. Wacha wakati nilirudishiwa siringi sitini. Ni uliza kwa ni bea ya musoma. Na kibiriti. Ni miongesu. Na kasema hapana. Wakati nilikuwa naenda duka. Ni kakumbuka. Sukari ya itoshi. Ni kakumbuka. Majapa. Aikwe, nika kumbuka, mukati ya kesho, na maziwa ya kesho, mimi nika sikia abaya sana, nika umia sana, mwakimu, mwakimu, mweza kore, neba, opia ali umia. Nika waja ya nichukua sitini, lakini ali umia, nika sikia vipaya kwa roo. So, whatever goes around, comes around. After some time, tulikunya. Wani, wakakukina atirudi. Ani, wakaniambia, opia. Ataka siringi miatatu. Mini nikuwa tuna watch TV kama mbile na watch inga all the time. Ataka siringi miatatu. Lakini kwa peso mbao nilikuwa nae ni siringi ya kumonja mba imeshika. Na niliyacha kwa lo. Nika kumbuka siringi yaku miambili. Nika sepo mada. Sina. Sina pesa. Sijui ni nini nifanya atokea aende kwa bedu na mimi nilisa hao hile pesa ya hongo rufu moja siku kwa ni metoa hile kwa kakua mimi naona hea kubepita shalina likuwa na hudi kutoka dungani yyo nilisipoka pepa kwa ya kibuja nikaulisa mada wani Urikuwa na niuliza siliki miyadato kumbu urikuwa na pesa na sema hao. Iyo. So urikuwa na siliki na upada kwa lawu nika sema hao. Nani ya mekupatia rusa? Uyende kwa lawu ya. Naka sema upia. Unasa hao. Siku ya rusa. Siku ya. Urifanya hakano. Ya kwamba vitu zako zote Na vitu zangu zote Ata hiyo no Ni yangu na kini wedi onaipa Kwanzia siku hiyo Kwanzia siku hiyo mbaka wa leo Si muambi zina Na muambi ya nikonayo na kini sikupi Mbaka tuingie memoranda mo Understand kama siyo hivyo mimi niende ni nondue ni kupatia kini kabla kitaigia memorata kwa wanastani mbaka ni jue chiti yangu itaruki mbe jirani pepo sina kuna muka mbao wezi kumambia huna kama wakona mbao ni mbu waja wa pepo sina mbao nasema sina lakini ukona mbe jirani pepo sina Sitaki Aikifika kasi ya mungu Uziseme pepo Ok, can we all say that? I want us to pray And before We do any other prayers I want us to do the prayer of covenant Hallelujah Can we go back to Psalms 50 verse number 5 I want us to read it all of us together. And I would want to invite everybody to the altar. Everybody. Look at your neighbor and tell him, neighbor. Everybody. 
will come to the altar. Whether you have or you don't have, come to the altar. Even us, as you see us here, we did have. But now we have. So even if you go down, let's come home. Touch this altar. That is why I was bringing the book of uh, Genesis 28. But if you are, whatever you are, that is what you can bring and put on the altar. And don't throw it. Don't put your hands on the altar as if you are, as if you are being electrocuted. Touch the altar. Say something. Even if you are or you don't. Hallelujah. Thank you. Gather my sins together unto me. Those who have made a covenant with me by a sacrifice. I want you to go to your wallet, go to your pocket if you have something that you can sacrifice. That is you. Whatever you have, that is what you bring. Even if it is uh, anything, we didn't say it is not all, it's only money. There are people who have even a handkerchief or a pen or anything, or anything. Okay, raise your hand up. Whether you have or you don't have, raise your hand up. And let us declare and decree. Say, my God and my Father, as I touch your altar, with my sacrifice and with my hand, today I disconnect from any evil altar of Satan, the altar of witch doctors, the altars of witchcraft that has been holding me that I cannot advance. Today, I connect and disconnect from the evil altar and now connect with the In my life, in my village, in my ministry, in my business, I will advance forcefully in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you, everybody, to come to the altar. Come and touch this altar. Just come, just come, just come. Whether you have or you don't have, I say, everybody, just come to the altar. Just come, just come. Just come, whether you have or you don't have. Usiye na ibu ebe no give you point mano bika mule amada ba omari ya sa ibu no point. Mai kama kwa ibu kai. Okay, neta ya chiel kana mnyani chimu dia bi mu ne ne wana. Anywhere, 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 anywhere. So long as we give a order, allow the children also to come. If we have children around, please let them come. I said it is not only your money; it can be anything. It can be anything, it can be anything, it can be anything, it can be anything. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands towards me and my interpreter. As I call the reverend to come, as we pray for you. This prayer, I want everybody just to kneel down where you are. Face this altar that you have touched. spirits that has been hindering you to advance. The spirits of family faulty foundation. The spirit of territorial envies. The spirit of victimization. The spirits of also the enemy. They have been blocking you. Tell the devil you cannot hinder me. This is my time to realign with the people. This is my time to advance to a level I've never advanced before. This is the time to establish good relationship with the people and with me. Just talk to the Lord. 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 To the Lord. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time. Pray that pray Lord, you cannot hinder me. Pray Satan, you cannot hinder me. I am unstoppable. I must make it to the next 
next level. I must make it to the next level. I must make it to the next level. In the name of Jesus, I must align myself. I must restore. I must be restored in my mind, in my finances, in my ministry, in my uh, uh, work with God. I must be one who can be established by the God's grace. Oh, talk to the Lord, talk to the Lord, talk to the Lord. Before you stand up, I want you to say this after me. Say, in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, the last Sunday of the month of March, I'm making a covenant to deny the devil which has been blocking me hindering me to realign myself with great people people who can take me to the next destiny who has been hindering me to be restored spiritually financially physically materially who has not been easy to establish my life. The devil has been hindering me to be stable in the work of God, to be stable in the ministry, in the business, in the family. Today, devil in the name of Jesus, I refuse you. I deny you. Every covenant that has been hindering me from the bloodline. Today, I disconnect. And I'm reconnecting. I'm connecting with the covenant of God from the Supreme Order. In Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Father God, I thank you for the word that you gave me. I've shared it with your people. They have heard your word. They have obeyed. I've told them that you can advance them forcefully in all areas of their life. As your servant, Reverend Eunice comes to join me in this prayer. Let it be a force that will make your people advance by this covenant. Forceful advancement in these four areas. I thank you and I worship you. Thank you, my God. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because we are advancing forcefully. In the name of Jesus Christ, your word of covenant must come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we decree advancement advancement in our families, in our businesses, in our relationships, in our workplaces. Lord, we decree advancement even in our health for the glory of God. In Jesus' name we advance. And the church say, Amen. Come on, give the Lord a mighty hand. God bless you. We appreciate you, our viewers.